All right, so ready to jump into today's AI news? Always. Feels like there's something new to unpack every single day. No exaggeration there. Uh. We've got a real mix today. Nobel Prizes, stock market shakeups, even changes to how we search for stuff online. Mm. But the big theme, uh, well, let's just say one headline really caught my eye. Oh, yeah, that one about a godfather of AI winning a Nobel Prize. That's the one. Except he's also warning that AI could, and I'm quoting directly here, wipe out humanity. Bit of a downer after winning the highest scientific honor, you'd think. Right. So we've got Jeffrey Hinton sharing the 2024 Nobel Prize in Physics with John J. Hopfield. Both absolute pioneers when it comes to artificial neural networks. And this is where I need your help. Because ne neural networks, to me, that still sounds like something straight out of Star Trek. What's the layman's terms version? Basically, imagine teaching computers to learn like our brains do. That's what Hinton Hopfield's research did. It made computers way better at processing information. And that leads to all sorts of things, language processing, image recognition, even like self-driving cars. Hold on. So this isn't just some abstract science experiment. This is the foundation for tech we're using or might be using very soon, every single day. Exactly. Which is why Hinton's warnings about AI's dangers are so, well, alarming. This isn't some random critic. This is someone who understands this tech deeply. Right. When you put it like that. Okay, so wiping out humanity might be a tad extreme. We hope. But it does make you stop and think, especially since AI isn't stuck in some lab anymore. It's everywhere you look. For real. Did you see that thing about Uber using ChatGPT? Like, to talk to their drivers, encourage them to switch to electric vehicles? I did, yeah. It's an interesting use of AI, maybe even for a good cause, promoting sustainability and all that. But it does make you wonder about the implications. Right, like, is this ethical... Companies using AI to, I don't know, influence their workers' choices. Exactly. And speaking of ethics, did you see what Adobe is doing? Trying to protect artists from having their work basically stolen by AI. Oh, with the digital watermarking thing. Tell me more about that, because that whole issue has had me kind of freaked out. So their idea is to create these tools that artists can use to, like, digitally sign their work, making it much harder for AI to just copy it without anyone knowing. Which is a huge GE deal, right? Mm -hmm. If AI can just spit out an image in seconds using someone else's creative work, what does that mean for, I don't know, the future of art? It's a huge debate right now. Copyright, ownership, it's all getting murky in the age of AI-generated content. And it's not just art either. This stuff ah. is changing how we find information online too. You're telling me. All those AI-generated images popping up in Google searches. Exactly. It's getting harder to know what's real and what's been, you know, cooked up by an algorithm. We need a course on how to navigate this stuff, seriously. It's scary how good it's getting, right? And that whole what's real question, it gets even trickier when you look at how AI is shaking up, well, money. Oh, for sure. Like NVIDIA, the company behind those powerful computer chips that AI needs. The GPUs, yeah. Right, those things. Their stock has been through the roof, even overtook Microsoft in value. Which tells you a lot about where this whole AI thing is headed. It's not just a tech thing anymore. It's an economic force. Big money is betting on AI. Totally. And it's constant, right? Every day there's another headline. Speaking of, did you see that one about Inflection AI? They're teaming up with Intel? To build even more powerful AI systems? Yeah, I saw that. It's like everyone's trying to grab a piece of this AI gold rush. Makes you wonder what happens to the smaller guys. Ooh, good point. Are we going to see some big AI monopoly down the line? Or can the little startups still make waves? And even bigger picture, how do we make sure all this AI progress is good for, you know, everyone, not just a handful of companies? That's the million dollar question, which kind of brings us full circle back to those ethical concerns. Because, yeah, AI's got potential, but... Two sides to every coin. And it's not just about, you know, robots taking over the world, though that's fun to think about. It's about the AI we've got right now. Bias and algorithms, fairness, transparency, that stuff matters. It's a lot, honestly. I bet some folks listening are like, my brain is full. It's a fire hose of info sometimes, keeping up with AI. It really is, but that's why it's so important to keep learning. And luckily, there are resources out there. Speaking of which, did you see that machine learning and AI for dummies PRO app? I did. Don't let the name fool you. It seems pretty comprehensive, even for folks who aren't total newbies. Right. They've got quizzes, little cheat sheets to remember things. And it's updated daily, so you're not getting left behind as AI changes, which, let's be honest, is like every five minutes these days. It's a lot to take in, for sure. I don't know about you, but I feel like we're just scratching the surface here. AI can do so much, 
and not all of it's going to be good. Yeah. Totally. I think that's a thing to remember, right? It's a tool. Powerful, sure, but like any tool, it all depends on how it's used. We got to make sure it's benefiting everyone. Easier said than done, maybe. No doubt. But hey, at least we're talking at it. <laughs> and honestly, the more people who understand what AI is, what it can do, that's got to be a good thing, right? Absolutely. The more informed we are, the better equipped we'll be to like navigate this whole rapidly evolving landscape. Did I say that right? It feels like every AI conversation needs a good rapidly evolving thrown in there. You nailed it. Yeah. But seriously, folks, thanks for joining us on this deep dive. We always say it, but today especially, keep those thinking caps on. AI is changing the world faster than we can say algorithm. And it's up to all of us to keep learning and, yeah, even be a little cautious along the way. Couldn't have said it better myself. Until next time, everyone, happy exploring the world of AI.